What's going on, Redskin brethren, sisters, fans, everybody? You know, the last couple of videos I did, I was kind of pretty much peed off at the whole organization. So for the last few weeks, I said, I'm just going to see news and what's going on and what moves are we making. Are we going to make any moves to, to ensure that we're going to be a better football team this year? Now, the way I really think about it, if I look at everything right now, I'll be like, no, we're not going to be a good team right now. You know what I'm saying? But that's just sometimes, sometimes it happens. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you think you're not going to be good and then all of a sudden you want to play us. Like this year, we started out six and three. I would have never thought that, that it would turn out the way it did. But with that being said, first thing I want to talk about is Bruce Allen is back. I, I'm to the point now that where I'm like, does Bruce Allen have something on Dan Snyder, like some pictures or something? Like, dog, if you fire me, I'm going to turn this in. It's to that point with Bruce Allen, so I'm not even going to talk about Bruce anymore. Hopefully he, he handles the finances, and hopefully our scouts and all the other people can get some good football players in here. So that's, that's about it with um, Bruce Allen. Now I'm going to talk about Jay Gruden. Now I know I told you guys that that you know the, the hand Jay played the hand that he was dealt this year. I really, I really do believe it. But if you look at it, like I said, Jay's been here five years and one playoff appearance. That's it, in five years. So this is a make or break year for Jay Gruden. So what would you know? This is it's just like this is a make or break year for Jay Gruden right here. So. We're going to see what, what he's going to do. I mean, Geist is coming back. Maybe we sign Adrian Peterson back. Maybe we draft us a guard. Maybe we get us a guard in free agency that can do some things. And um, maybe we can patch this thing on up because the defense is pretty much intact. So maybe we can do something with this offense. Maybe Josh Dotson has uh, uh, become the player that we think he's supposed to be. Maybe Chris Thompson comes back and everything returns back. Maybe Jordan Reed gives us a whole healthy year this year. Maybe Brandon Sheriff comes back and plays at a Pro Bowl level like he's capable of. And Trent and all of this comes together on the offense and we get a left guard and, 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 and everything works out. But I don't think Jameson Crowder's coming back. But I do like to Trey Quinn guy. We get Trey Quinn healthy. I think he can fill that void. But um okay Jay Gruden, that's that's I think I'm pretty much done with Jay. So we're just gonna see what I mean what he's gonna do. Now the two points out of all of this DJ Swearinger stuff and the injuries and the Alex Smith injury and all this stuff that just seemed like it's happening, the snowball effect. It's only been two good things that I can see that we did, you know. Reuben Foster, that move took guts. And, and now he's acquitted. Now if we can get Reuben playing up to Reuben's potential this year Oh my God, the skies could be the limit. The skies could be the limit. You you put him back with Payne and Allen and 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 and, and Sean Dion and um, Ryan Anderson. And if we do get bring Ha Ha back, I mean that's a pretty serviceable defense. You know what I'm saying? So if we can get the offense clicking and 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 the defense right, maybe Jay could save his job. Now. The Greg Minuski thing, I wanted Greg out the door. I wanted Greg out the door, but I wanted Bruce Allen out the door more than I wanted Greg out the door. But really, I wanted every everything out the door, period, but the janitor and Dan Snyder because we can't fire him. So Greg is back, but there's one, and Thomas Sulis will be back coaching the D-line. But we added Rob Ryan. Now Rob Ryan as a as a defensive coordinator hasn't been good, you know, in the stops that he's done, but he's a hell of a position coach. Taught by his father, the great buddy Ryan, and he coached under his brother, Rex Ryan. I mean, the Ryan family knows defense. So maybe he could help us with some 
blitz packages. We can get some more pressure with him being a linebacker coach. Maybe he can coach Reuben Foster up. Ryan Kerrigan's going to do what he does. If we retain Preston Smith, maybe he'll get more sacks. Maybe our linebackers will be more, more physical. Maybe we'll have more exotic schemes. Maybe we can do different things and just line up line up the way we do on defense it's just it's sickening to me you know it seemed like after that atlanta falcons game after that atlanta falcons game i don't know what it was i i don't have the tape but i don't know what it was somebody tell me it seemed like after that game it was easy to run on us you just run right off the edge not through the middle but you run right at the edge so maybe Rex Ryan, Rob Ryan to clear that up next year. We get more pressure on the quarterback. I mean, we just got to get more sacks. It is what it is. I'm going to get back to talking football, not all the, I mean, because there's nothing we can do. We're stuck with Bruce Allen. We're stuck with, with Gruden. We're stuck with Minuski. We're stuck with Dan Snyder. It's just like, we're just stuck, you know? So hopefully, the two idiots, Dan Snyder and Bruce Allen, can get something together, and then hopefully they can they can they can bring us a winner. Hopefully they can bring us a winner. I mean that's that's the only thing I could think about right now is is winning because I mean if you look, what do we have to be happy about? We don't have anything to be happy about, so I'm just gonna just hope. Now it's about hope. Hope we play. Hope we get the right quarterback because we don't even have a quarterback, y'all. I mean, Jay Gruden's fighting for his life, which I want him gone anyway, but I think this would have been the perfect year to get. That's why I don't want to do what ifs and all that, but I'm going to do one more. This would have been the perfect year to get rid of Jay Gruden and get the rookie quarterback in the new office and the new that. So we're going to be stuck with Gruden. Gruden's fighting for his job, man. We're going to have a veteran quarterback. Could be Colt McCoy starting this year so hopefully everything can pan out but the only two good things i see that happened so far since all this dysfunction is that we at least got a linebacker coach and um and we got um and we got um reuben foster oh yeah and we did promote we did promote our old court we did pr promote i think our quarterbacks coach to offensive coordinator, so maybe, maybe he was looking last year and he was like, dang, I would do this if I was Jay. I would do that if I was. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, you, we, you never know because you never know who a genius is until he gets the job. Nobody knew that Belichick was a genius until he got with Lawrence Taylor. So maybe this guy right here can get whatever. Who, who, who's the quarterback? That's, that's what we're going to have to find out. But as of now, the only two things I'm happy about is that we have Rob Ryan as our linebacker coach. Hopefully we'll get more sacks. And we got Reuben Foster as a linebacker. So maybe this linebacker core will get right. I see that Thomas Sula, he's doing a pretty good job at the defensive um, line. But I didn't like after the Atlanta game how we was giving up the run after that. But hopefully the combination of Rob Ryan, Thomas Sula, and Greg Minuski could come up with something, another set of eyes that the defense can be even better. We're still going to need corners. I, I I like Fabian Moreau, I do, but I mean, we're going to need new corners too. I don't are we going to keep Josh Norman? I mean, that's a lot of questions to be asked. If we keep Josh Norman and Fabian and the boys, okay, but I think we still need third round. Find us a gym. We got to find us some gyms. We got to find us some guys that can get on the field next year and play football. Go to the Redskins, y'all. Yeah.